today I'm in Marquette and I couldn't be more excited because I'm going to see Dan at Sacred Tattoo and he does tattoos like this and like this. And then he's also done all the work on my leg. So it just makes sense that he is going to finish up this spot on my knee. I'm getting to the shop in the morning so that Dan can show me the drawing. It's gonna be a kneecap shark jaw sunset. And I have to tell you, I couldn't be happier with this thing. As him and I discuss the placement and the size, let me tell you just a little bit more about Dan and the shop. As a client in the shop, Sacred Tattoo Studio feels very inviting with music playing, movies up on the TV. The whole environment is just really collaborative. So I asked Dan about it and this is what he had to say. It certainly does feel uh, unique to us when we have guest artists through or whatnot. They'll often comment on it that they're like, man, it's so great that you guys are bouncing ideas off of each other or, hey, does this look straight or the placement on this or should this be a little bit bigger or smaller? And we certainly love that about the shop and um, hope to continue doing that forever. So now it's my turn. And as the person getting tattooed, it's my job to just sit still and in this case, sip on some coffee. For me personally, the line work of the tattoo hurts the most, but the shop chatter just kind of keeps my mind off of it. Mostly the conversation revolves around lunch. It is interesting we do try to time lunch where we're eating together. What else is even open in Marquette for food? Um, I know that you went to Donkers for breakfast, but she requested that they have buttered up squash soup. I've never had that before. Oh, she just told me mango sticky yeah. rice. The way they make their fried rice, it's got this wonderful, like, almost like a char to it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty sacred moment here where we time lunch. We're like, okay, okay, and you're kind of looking at the clock and figuring out when it's going to work for everybody. And then we just goof around for 10 minutes while reading. So Dan just finished all the line work on my knee, and then we're going to start the shading and coloring after lunch. I figured I would fill everybody in on why I would want to drive so far to get a tattoo. Well, I love coming to Marquette. This is one of my favorite places to visit. There's so many things to do while you're here. We're for sure gonna send them to Sugarloaf. We're for sure gonna tell them to drive around the island. Uh, depending on the time of year, they're gonna either hit a beach or go for one of the mini trail hikes. It's time for shading and color, and we have enough time to finish this tattoo today. So I'm just gonna put on some music and let everybody in the shop get to work. Shading is way easier. So the day is wrapping up and so is my tattoo. What started out as a sketch is now a fully realized tattoo. So here it is.